I'm stronger, I'm stronger, I'm stronger and I'm stronger. Yes, I am. Come on, guys, you're welcome to the Olive Brook Church, and we're starting a new series. You are stronger. I mean, like, the title of our new series is Stronger. You remember our last series we took for four weeks, we did Lifeline. We're starting another four-week series titled Stronger. And um, it's going to be a very exciting series. I'm already perceiving that uh, we're, we're going to have good time with the Lord looking at this title. Do you have your Bible close by? And uh, do, do, you, do you have your dancing shoe close by? Like I always say, the service is going to be phenomenal. Get ready to give thanks to God. We're going to go into high praise. We'll be back to take our confession. And right away we'll be back to take the teaching for today. Come on, get ready and let's get into church. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. I don't go wait until you do something. I am ready to sing your praise, ready to sing your praise. Thank you, Jesus. I am begin to thank God more. Oh, 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 oh,
Said only you would change my life Ooh, yeah. Your love is unshakable The lessons are uncountable Everything that you do Lord, I cannot tell it all Let me count One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight
I'll say, then you repeat after me. Is that okay? Yes. All right. In the name of Jesus, I have the life of God flowing through my veins. In the name of Jesus, I have the life of God flowing through my veins. Therefore, I am rich in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Therefore, I am rich in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I am healthy and the best in everything I do. I'm healthy and the best in everything I do. My parents are blessed. We lack nothing. We are blessed and blessings to others. My parents are blessed. We lack nothing and we are blessed and a blessing to others. I live a life worthy of the Lord, pleasing Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work. I live a life worthy of the Lord, pleasing Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work. I am a chosen generation. I do great things for God. I am a chosen generation. I do great things for God. For the Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. For the Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. Amen. Amen. injured yourself in a really embarrassing way? I definitely have. If so, tell us your most embarrassing injury story in the comments below. Gotta be honest, I've experienced even more painful moments far greater than physical injuries. I mean, you name it. Painful failures, hurt, loss, and pain. Perhaps you know what it's like. As long as we're here on earth, there will always be things that hurt us. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, in Genesis 1, we learn that God himself created everything beautiful and everything good, but sin ruined everything. So when Jesus came on the scene, he lived, he died, and then he lived again so that you and I and our stories can be redeemed. So no matter where you find yourself in life right now, remember this, Jesus can redeem all that's gone wrong. Hello guys, you're welcome back. I trust you had beautiful, fun time during the praise and worship I did. So um, straight back, we'll go back to our teaching today. And uh, today, we're starting a new series. I'm so excited about this because it's an everyday teaching. You know, it's an everyday experience and it's centered on growing stronger. Oh, I'm liking it already. Yes, because you and I need to go stronger for every situation that we get to find ourselves. Um, have you been to situations whereby you, you failed or you're disappointed or you, you felt so hurt? I have. Let me just give you a quick cup. In my 300 level, I failed the pericycle cycles. Oh, it was so painful so so painful now a pericycle course is one that if you don't get to pass that course you won't be able to do another on the next year and that will be definitely not graduating with your mates which i didn't graduate my mates so it was very painful you know and during those times honestly life was horrible life was painful life was hurtful i felt so disappointed and all of that but we have a savior, Jesus, that promises to redeem everything that has gone wrong. So today we'll center on God can change what has gone wrong. Praise the Lord. Now, in our growth series, we'll look at that for today and we trust God that at the end of it, whatsoever it's wrong in your life, you feel it's wrong in your life, God can change that and give you a fresh start, give you the strength to move on. Hallelujah. Um, I'm talking about something that has gone wrong. You know, sometimes we feel, okay, what, there are, there are times where we cost whatever is wrong in our lives, and that means it's, it's our fault. And sometimes it's not just our fault, things happen. For example, the cases where it can be your fault, maybe you, you're supposed to read for an exam you did not read, and you get to feel that's your fault. You're supposed to, to do some things to make up a team, and you don't do, that's your fault. Hmm? You, your parents get to seize your phone because you were irresponsible with the phone, that's your fault. But cases where maybe you lose a loved one, 
uh, you get to uh, your parents get to separate maybe divorce you know and maybe you have to you know move from one city to another or change school and all of that that's not your fault so in all of these we're just looking at scenarios whereby it's bad things disappointment happens and you just have to bear with it but we have a savior that says i can redeem that's the word redeem means rescuing means bringing back what has been stolen or what has been lost or what has been made desolate back to new um before i before we we start in all of that god made this world perfect in genesis he made us understand genesis chapter 3 genesis 1 uh, but my emphasis will be in chapter 3 that everything he did was good you know from the creation day one to day seven he made us understand that everything he did was good everything he did was beautiful that's to say there was no pain there was no death there was no sin there was no disappointment there was no suffering of any such you know but what now happened adam and eve ate the forbidden fruit disobey they disobeyed god and thereby introduced sin into this whole perfect world now sin when sin came in it brought anger it brought rage it brought disappointment it brought separation it brought name it suffering you know until today this sin is not just in the world it's in our hearts so every man that is born in this earth comes with that ability to sin and what does that mean that that sin doesn't makes it easy for one to be destructive that sin sin makes it easy for one to 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 lie to steal to kill you know sin makes it difficult for people to relate together you can find out that when you are relating with some before you know what you start lying you start gossiping about the person and all of that that is one area sin shows itself you know and sin too brings a separation from god the cool of the day when adam was in the garden of eden when everything was perfect you know god comes to communicate with his children i mean with adam he communicates with him in the cool of the day god comes to communicate with them but right now it's difficult it's difficult to 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 relate with god the relationship with god is strained is stressed you know there's a strain there you know all of this god in the gospel of christ we see that jesus came to redeem that what was lost to bring back that relationship praise the lord so um um to move on we we now talk about some things that make us feel that you know when, when you look at life you're like i am all alone this suffering why is god not listening to me why is god not not as if god is not there you know some people like if god is there why 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 is the suffering so much why is this pandemic why is why is there covid 19 why is there sickness where is there death god is there but you know before you do a thing before god attend to you he has to to own you back he has to own you back he has to redeem you first before he redeems your situation what does that mean let's look at colossians colossians chapter 3 open your bible is your bible with you colossians chapter 3 Okay, Colossians chapter 3, verse 13 to 20. I'll read. He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. We have redemption, the forgiveness of sin in him. Verse 15 said, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation for everything he created by him in heaven and on earth the visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authority all things have been created 
through him and for him. He is before all things, and by him all things hold together. Verse 18. For he is the head of the body of Christ. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For God was pleased to have him or to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile everything to himself by making peace through the blood of his cross, whether things on earth or things in heaven. Wow, that's powerful. It's a long read, but let me get my emphasis. Verse 13, the first he said, He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his dear son. Good. And verse 20 now said, And through him to reconcile, Reconcile to reconciliation means redemption also. Recon to reconcile everything to him. Now, if you want Jesus to attend to your situation, you have to be reconciled with him. You have to tell him, Lord, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. You can't have ownership. You can't have your life. You, he, he, he wants ownership of your life so that he can rescue the situation you are in. You know, so for, uh, before we go on, I would like to pray with you if, as an invitation to accept Jesus as a Lord and Savior so that He can help whatever situation you are going through. Is that okay? Okay, let's pray. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word today. I believe you redeem me and my situations. Lord, I invite you into my life take charge of my being and make good things in my life and around me in Jesus name amen like well that was powerful that's the first step to all of this and I believe the journey will be smooth from on onward in the name of Jesus now let's let's go on it didn't just stop there you know what happens when Jesus comes to turn around your situation when Jesus turns around your situation. Let me go back to my story. You know, when I had that, um, um, I failed that course, in the university we call it a receipt, a carryover. So the next year I had to take that course. It was painful because my mates were ahead of me and I was with my genius. So each time I'm having lectures, I have to be coming back to attend lectures with my genius. It was very painful. But during that time, I trusted God and I trusted the process he's taking me through. And guess what? It made me, it may give me a better understanding of the course. Why? Because when I sat down with it, I was not pressured. Because then it was like, hey, 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 let me pass this course. Let me just go. No. And I was able to read with understanding. I had better communication with my peers because then I was feeling like it's, it's very bad to go back and, and you know, take these classes with my genius, you know, but I had relationship, I had people that were, that were able to help me, I was able to relate with them to help me and they were able to teach me, you know, the little secrets about this and how to go about it. And at the end of it, guess what? I got a B in that course. I was so happy. You know, I was very, very happy. So what does this, this tells us? When you go through stuff, when you go through hard times, it's not the time to give up. It's not the time to say, ah, the, everything has finished. No, it's the time to put all your arsenal together and fight it through. And guess what? You're not just doing this alone. God. Is, he, is, is with you, is in you and is around you to help you. So you don't just do things vague as if ah, I am alone in this, in this world, this thing is to No, it, we have invited him already and then he will take over the situation. God gave me peace. I was at peace with myself. I learned a lot and I was able to understand the course. When I was graduating, I, was, I, I graduated, I was happy that I went through it and I understood it. 
Hallelujah. So when we go through stuff, when Jesus redeems us, what, is, what has gone wrong, what does he do? Instead of lashing at others, you know, sometimes when you go through situations, you feel, you, you become antagonistic. Like you feel everybody's opposing you. You feel you are not measuring up. Before you know what's happening, you start lashing out on people. You start being angry, unreasonably at people, you know. But when you trust Jesus, he will help you get closer to those people. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, there's what we call self-pity. It's a very bad state to be in. When you pity yourself for no reason, because you didn't make up to that mark, because you didn't make that team, because you didn't make your parents happy, no. Disappointment comes, yes. I remember then my dad would call me and said, see, failure is part of success, so go through it. And I got encouraged and I went through it. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, be thankful for the opportunity to grow through this difficulty. I know it's, it's, it doesn't sound the natural thing to do, but you know we are partner, we've partnered with Jesus, right? We've partnered with God Almighty. So trust him to go through this process. And the third one is that instead of focusing on the worst case scenario, you could focus on what God is doing through you. Hallelujah. When you go through stuff, what is happening is that God is building your spiritual Moses. God is building your character. God is making you stronger within. God is enlarging you from within. Because sometimes all of this is just to a show of how great our God is in you. Praise the Lord. So, and again, the last one, instead of becoming angry with God, you could trust that Jesus can redeem you from your hurt. Some people go through stuff and they are angry with God. I learned of a friend that his, his mom died of cancer and he was like, God, where were you? Where were you when my mom was suffering? She was going through chemotherapy. She was doing that. I will not say no. No. No, I know it's painful, but you know God sees all and knows all. So what you do is you trust him. You trust him and you, you are not to be, instead of getting angry with God, what you should, you should trust God. That God, I believe in you. Even though it's hard, even though it's dark, even though it's painful, I believe that you will bring me out stronger and better in Jesus' name. So I know life can be difficult, painful sometimes, but I hope you remember that it is not beyond God's ability to redeem you, to redeem your family, to redeem anyone that is going through pains or suffering, you know. So we, we, we trust God that for the next three weeks in this month of October, you will gather your asnas together because each and every one of us, for myself, I know I am getting stronger. God is bringing to us wonderful teachings that will encourage us to make us stronger and better in Jesus' name. So to, 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 to round up, I'll just recap what we, we said about today's teaching. God, Jesus can make things new. He can turn things that have gone bad. You know, trust him, trust the process, and you'll come out stronger and better in Jesus' name. So let's pray. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you sincerely from our hearts you've encouraged us you've given us a booster you've given us hope to push on in this um, in, in what is happening in our lives we trust you that at the end of this we'll come out stronger and better in jesus name are there people hurt are there people disappointed are there people feeling miserable what is life all about lord we ask that you grant unto them understanding the path you are taking them through in the name of Jesus. Be thy exalted in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. See you next week for another wonderful teaching. Bye.